What's up everybody, welcome back. I know I haven't posted a video in a little while, but 2020 has been absolutely crazy as I'm sure all of you will also agree. Things are changing this weekend though. I booked some time up in St. Augustine and it's not just to see some of the tourist attractions, it's actually to go flying. This weekend I'm actually spending some time with Patty Wagstaff, if anybody's familiar, to go ahead and get inverted. Let's go. <laughs> So finished up day number one. It was an awesome time. The weather didn't really cooperate. So we got there about 9.30 and there's this cell that just was hanging off the, the east coast the entire time. It just kind of messed up the majority of the day. The good thing is that we did get ground school in and that was where I was, my mind was really blown. I think Alan and Patty do a really good job at expressing a lot of stuff that they just don't touch on in your PPL, which is absolutely wild because I think it could actually make or break whether or not you get into like, a, let's say a stall spin accident. So we really touched on pitch, roll, a lot of the stuff that I think we were gonna be focusing on and the focus on upset recovery versus just aerobatics. So that first day when we finally did get up to go fly, we spent a lot of time doing upset recovery. So a little turning stall and then recovering from a stall in a turn. We actually had airspeed and our turn and slip indicator covered the entire time. And I even found myself looking a couple times, trying to look at the airspeed indicator when we just really didn't need to. And it, it became even more prevalent when we got into uh, doing our first uh, loop, essentially, and even a roll where you can actually listen to the engine, you can watch the yaw uh, off the actual hood too. So it was a it was a really good time. I learned a lot on day number one. Today the weather looks absolutely awesome, so I'm hoping we actually get a couple more flights, and we got two flights in yesterday, and eventually getting into the extra, which I'm really really excited about. I'm actually running short on time. I want to get over there and we can get started. We're actually starting today at 9, 9 a.m. So pound my coffee, race on over. I'm only about 12 minutes from the airport, which is again, Airbnb, you can't go wrong. Uh, get over there and get started. I'll give you a little more of a detailed breakdown once this is all done too. So, see ya. was a lot of fun. We started out in the Super Decathlon and then jumped into the extra a little later. Uh, we briefed on the day before a couple of things that, that I needed to, to polish up on and just remember. And of course, you still get into the Super Decathlon and then forget things like clinching up and um, actually 
not pulling back on the stick at a certain time and using the right kind of rudder when you're in a roll, all that kind of stuff. But again, great time, got to brush up on a lot of stuff, came back, grabbed a little bit of food, which is counterintuitive to what you probably would think. I didn't get nauseous this entire weekend. I mean, I do still have today's flight, but it, I, I didn't really get sick at all. And I, I almost wanted to avoid eating food, but I was told by everybody that it's probably good to have a little bit of food on your stomach, especially for some of the students, uh, both pilot Julia and Christine that have, have done this before, that it's probably a little good to have food on your stomach. So we went and grabbed some food, came back and jumped in the extra and actually knocked out almost a full, a full sequence, which was a loop, a Cuban, and then an aileron roll. You're supposed to continue to a steep turn and then I'm actually gonna fly with Patty today, which I'm really excited to go with her and I think we're gonna knock out a, a full sequence in the Super Decathlon. But the whole point is, is again, upset recovery. And once you have a better understanding of, of again, flying one of these planes, it's, I think the gap closes quite a bit and just makes you more confident pilot. So although I, I really wanna be able to jump into Airbrax one day, the, the cool piece is that this is super functional for just everyday flying in terms of being as safe as possible. So highly recommend this so far, 10 out of 10. Uh, I'll let you know how the final flight goes today. See you later. guys finally made it back to Orlando short hour and 40 minute drive down the A1A and then over to 95 and I4 so you got to see a little bit of the coast start out in the morning pretty early because I did have to pack up with my Airbnb my, my weird purple troll house that I stayed in which was actually in a sweet spot right next to the Leitner Museum so if you guys are going up there that's the, the spot you want to be in anyways got started about 9 a.m. Uh, actually 10 a.m. because of the, the weather again it's been kind of crappy we've kind of been trying to work around the weather the entire weekend but got started with Patty actually this is my first flight and last flight with Patty this weekend in the Super Decathlon we kind of pulled together all the stuff that we had learned with Alan the last couple days and actually did a, a primary sequence where she gave me the card and kind of walked me through some of that stuff which was just really cool also met uh, pilot Julia and then Christine Bogey and uh, Julia is actually looking to get into competition flying, which I'm, I'm linking both of their YouTube below too. And she kind of walked me through everything she's been up before. I definitely want to go back up. If, if you guys are interested in becoming a safer, more knowledgeable pilot, then this is the kind of stuff that you probably want to do. It's, it's really not just about the adrenaline junkie kind of thing. I, I was going up there because I, I think it was going to be a blast. I think it was going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I was really excited about it, but I was, to be honest, surprised at how much I actually learned and how much I wish we probably would learn in our, our PPL and even throughout the our, our pilot careers, whether it's a hobby or for your, your actual career. So, if you like having a good time, if you like learning, if you like pushing yourself, I would say go check this out. Definitely go go hang out with Patty up in St. Augustine. And of course, if you haven't been to St. Augustine, it's a pretty cool city. That's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and press a like. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave one below and I'll definitely make sure to get back to you. And please go check out Patty Wagstaff up in St. Augustine. I think you guys have a really good time. See y'all later.